It's time for Art Now with Mona De Niro. Today we're going to be talking with R. Allen Emerson, the newest Guggenheim Fellow in Installation Arts. R. Allen Emerson is a conceptual artist known mostly for his work in active and intelligent artwork. He made his name the New York Circuit, winning the Andy Warhol Prize in Experimental and Performance Arts for his groundbreaking installation, Consciousness and Mechanism. Presented at the Metropolitan Museum of Fine Arts, his visionary exploration of non-static images of dramatic simplicity and his pioneering work in interactive art has made Emerson a hero of the modern transhumanist zeitgeist and the founder of the meta-conceptualist movement. Welcome, Mr. Emerson. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Um, can you tell our audience a little about how your art speaks to the world? Well, it has always been my goal that my art should speak for itself. Yes, yes, I see. Then, can you tell us a little about your movement? What does it mean for you to be a conceptual artist? I am not truly a conceptual artist. I am a meta-conceptual artist. Whereas a conceptual artist creates the idea that becomes a machine that makes the art, I create the machine that makes the idea that becomes the machine that makes the art. I see. So how does the meta-conceptualist conceptual movement fit into the art world today? My work, you understand, is on a much higher level than most of the art you see today. The old art is still locked into a Cartesian representational frame. Despite the early conceptualist desire to divorce themselves from the mere craft of art, they were still merely imitating reality, albeit at a conceptual level. I do not think that one should make art that represents life. One should make art that is life. Wow. That's amazing. So let's talk about your award-winning work, When a Tree Falls in the Forest. Where did you get the idea for that work? Well, that's really a very interesting story. I was having a discussion with some of my friends over dim sum at Lulu Ma's in Paris when the old saying came up, you know, when a tree falls in the forest and there's no one to hear it, does it make a sound? And I thought, when a tree falls in the forest, it means something to the tree. So I thought of making an artwork that can respond to art. For those few people in our audience who have not seen the work, it appears to be a moss-covered log, and yet in its hollow resonance chambers it makes sounds that respond to the art around it. Is it true, Mr. Emerson, that your art made a rude noise when shown a model of Michelangelo's David? Yes, well, that tree always has been a bit of a prude. <laughs> you talk as if it's a person. I do think of my artworks as if they are people. They are organisms in their own right. I do not think of myself as merely an artist. I think of myself as a creator of life. I am become a god. Wow. Thank you so much for sharing some of your sacred time with us today. Uh, an exhibition of Mr. Emerson's work will be on display at the J. Montaigne Contemporary Arts Complex starting this Friday and running to the end of the month. Thank you.